What is up guys, Levi Peterson here back at it with another exciting video. As you can tell, I am really excited. Um, I finally got another frog fish. We had one come in today and I'm adding it to the 30 gallon hexagon tank. Once I get the emerald crab out, um, we have an emerald crab in there that actually ate, pretty much ate the other frog fish that I had in there. And I really wasn't thinking, obviously. Um, but the frog fish and scorpion fish, um, their eyes are sensitive and everything. And apparently the crab ate it. Like, I watched the crab physically eat its eye when I walked in my room. And I was so mad. And that frog fish did not end up making it. So, taking that crab out. Water parameters are pristine. I literally just checked them right as I got home just to be sure because I was a little bit nervous. Um, there is five damsel fish in there right now. Uh, which at some point may become a snack. Yeah. Um, for right now, though, let's show you what I have here. I have three rock flower anemones. Um, I might scatter these throughout the uh, 75 and the 30 just to add a little more color because the 30 gallon really doesn't have anything in it. Um, I think there's two rock flowers in it right now, um, but they're kind of pale looking. And that's because the nitrates went up way high one day and I wasn't paying attention. And then I have, we got some feeder shrimp, or some ghost shrimp, and a couple feeder guppies that got stuck in the net as well. Um, and I'll just be keeping these in a 2.9 gallon, um, which I have right here. I just got to kind of figure out a place. And all it needs is a bubbler. This room stays relatively warm, right around 80 degrees just about. Um, so I honestly sometimes during the night I leave my door open because it's so hot and humid up here. The humidity in here is like 95% sometimes. Um, which isn't bad because I like hot and humid and some people think I'm weird because of that. This is a black or I almost want to say velvet frogfish. This guy's probably about four inches long. He is a beautiful, beautiful specimen. I'm trying to get you guys a better look there. Um, he is going in a 30 gallon hexagon tank. This guy, if I'm exact, I'm not exactly sure on the species, so I'm guessing he's going to get four to five inches in length. So there's not too much more growing to go. He will be fine in there, especially as the damselfish get eliminated, which I don't think is going to happen at first because I have feeder shrimp and everything. I'm going to try to keep him as well fed as I can, but eventually those damselfish will probably end up becoming food unless they are faster than this guy's mouth, which is impossible. Um, this guy. I don't know how to explain it. Their mouth is, it's just. And it's its really cool to watch. I love watching frogfish eat and everything. And I just couldn't resist on getting under the frogfish. Um, frogfish is one of my favorite fish species in the world. Um, they're probably like my third favorite. Um, and I just love keeping them. They're really fun to keep unless you have a big crab in your tank. And I learned my lesson the hard way. So we're gonna go ahead and get that crab out and then there's a couple of fake pieces of coral I'd like to grab out of there. We'll get this guy acclimated and in to the aquarium. All right, fellas, we have him in the tank temperature acclimating right now. I will probably end up dripping him if you don't know what drip acclimating is. Um, it's almost like a tiny little siphon you hang on the side of your tank and have it drip down into like a small bucket or something. Um, it's really kind of simple and it actually is better for the fish to help adjust in the parameters. Um, you got to be a little bit more careful during doing that in salt water though because you actually raise the salinity of the bucket water because you're have obviously adding more salt water which is going to raise the salinity. Um, which you don't really have to worry too much about because it takes a little bit to move it a couple points. But he is in the bag and everything, temp track waiting him. Dazzle fishes are checking him out. I got some nice pieces of uh, red pom pom macro in there. Um, we got some, where, where is it? Green. Um, green ogo and then we got some saw blade i thought about throwing some chato in there uh, i'll probably end up doing that um just i want to i can't i don't really have any coral in here there's a couple of palithoas and they don't grow as well because i simply just have an led um but the led will grow this macro like crazy so um i'm really excited to get the light on this thing and actually release the frogfish i'm leaving the light off while he's acclimating and stuff because it just adds more stress when the light's on um so we're gonna let him sit in there for maybe 15 to 20 minutes. He is officially ready. I've dripped him for about five to six minutes. And don't be surprised when I put him in that the damselfish mess with him a little bit. Let me see if I can even get him out of this bag. He is a decent sized frogfish right there. Look at, he's big and fat. And he is in. Oh yeah, beautiful. Beautiful and big. I am gonna name this Tom Jr. And there is a little extra flow at the top, but he is slowly descending to the bottom of the tank here. Like I said, 
don't get panicked when the Danzelfish do check it out, because um, they will probably pick at it just a little bit at first, just to kind of get it used to it being in the aquarium. Um, I'm going to let it sit there for probably about 5 to 10 minutes before actually putting the light back on, simply because I just want to let it adjust to all the parameters and everything, even though I did drip it. So, um, I will be back in probably about maybe 5 to 10 minutes from the period that I just added this, uh, added them in. We'll get the light on, we'll check out the tank, chat a little bit more about frogfish and their species and everything, and that's going to wrap it up for this video. It is currently later on in the evening of the day I put the frogfish in the tank. I just kind of wanted to give them a little bit more time. Um, everything seems to have settled down, and yes, I wore three different shirts in one video. Uh, the other shirt got a lot of salt water on it. I used the first shirt as almost like a little rag to kind of wipe off my hands. And then the second shirt got soaked as well. Um, so other than that, he's doing really good. I will flip the camera around in a second here and show you guys um, the frog fish and everything. Really, really excited to see how this goes. Um, so far, he's doing really well. He's already eaten some ghost shrimp. I really wish I would have had that on film, but my uh, camera did not end up filming when I was trying to film. So that didn't work out as good as I thought it would. Um, we have, well, let me flip the camera around. We'll show you guys what we have in here. Here is the 30 gallon hexagon tank. We got the four Hawaiian damsels, or Hawaiian domino damsels, and then we got the three stripe. And there is Tom Jr. He is a beautiful, beautiful specimen. Um, and I am just blessed to work at a fish store and be able to get my hands on some beautiful specimens, specimens and some very healthy specimens from Northside Aquatics, LLC. And right there, the pom-pom macro actually kind of fell, and I wasn't too happy about that. And then we have the anemones kind of scattered throughout the tank. There is some palethoas, different. I'm not exactly sure what kind of palethoa that is. Uh, we got some green ogo, and then there's some chato back there as well. And there's another anemone. There is actually, if I can, if I can find them, there is a bumblebee goby. There is two bumblebee gobies in here. Those are actually supposed to be brackish uh, gobies. I put both of them in here simply to feed my frogfish. Um, a while back when I had my uh, giant frogfish, the yellow one. And they ended up living in here. And I actually noticed um, some babies yesterday. Um, so they actually spawned. And sorry for the camera. I got brackish gobies spawning in a saltwater environment. That is just really cool in my eyes. I don't know about yours. But I was just over ecstatic about that. That was like one of the best things that's ever happened to me. It's not the best thing that ever happened to me. But I was just really excited. Um, other than that, that's really going to be it. Um, there's bazillions of frogfish species out there, by the way. This is one of the few. This is one of the more uglier um, ones out there. There's the war skins, which are either yellow and uh, that color pretty much, or you got the white and uh, dark uh, reds or uh, light reds. So other than that, that's really gonna be it. Don't forget to be the fish and keep reefing. We'll see you on the next video. Before I forget, don't forget to check out Reef Nutrition's website linked in my description below, as well as Real Reef Rock and Northside Aquatics. I'm gonna go now.